Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. In my previous video about making a cone, I promised a video of more shape making. So today we are going to contour lift a cylinder. And to make it a little more exciting, we are going to make an actual project and make it bottle shaped. That will give me a chance to make two cylinders, tiny one and a little bigger one, and show you how to flow from one size to another, which is something you need to know for making any sculpture in general. So let's get to it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to know more. obviously need 3D pen and filament. For contour lifting you will also need a 3D mate mat which I separated into segments and we are going to use just a circle part today. Then you will need two special tools carousel and spacers. These are tools you can make yourself with minimal time and money investment and uh, my videos with instructions for both are in the description. I like to use a color-coded printout under my matte segment so I can see easily which circle I'm working on without having to measure or count them all the time. Saves a lot of time and prevents accidentally making a wrong size circle which used to happen to me all the time before I started using this printout. If you haven't heard of contour lifting technique before, please watch my video on contour lifting a cone, which explains the process a bit more. Link is in the description. No matter what diameter cylinder, you are making, always connect the first circle to the center so you can slide it up and down and keep it centered as you join the layers. Let me show you the joining of the first two layers in real time. When your first layer is nice and solid, slide it off and make another circle of the same size. Place your spacer over it, slide the original piece on and join the first circle to the bottom one on two opposite sides. Take a special care with your first two connections. Make sure they are totally solid before moving on. Then you slide your spacers out and connect the rest. With this particular piece of 3D Mate Mat, we have a choice of 10 diameters of cylinders here and the height of them depends entirely on how high you want it and also obviously on size of sp a spacer you are using. So that's a lot of cylinders.
beauty of this method is that you can switch the diameter of your cylinder as you go, which helps you shape your sculpture in any way you choose. To show you what I mean, we'll develop this tiny cylinder into a bottle project. So now we will start getting wider to create the bottleneck. The shape of the neck will depend on the height of the spacers you select. I've been using number 2 spacer up to now, but now I will go to 3, 4, 5 and then I'll make the rest of the bottle with spacer number 6 all the way down. Now you probably noticed I made the center star-like connection only in the first layer and then just kept connecting the plain circles. And you can get away with that in small circles. However, as you get into wider diameters, it's a good idea to connect the circles to the center each time with each additional circle. The bottle will be a lot straighter if it's centered at each layer. If you're planning to make your bottle solid, the center braces won't show anyway and the inner structure will add strength to the project. On the other hand, if you are making a minimalistic sculpture that is light and see-through and you don't want those braces there, you can always edit them out later or make them into something intentional. Here I'll make the bottom part of the bottle look like it has liquid in it. So I will fill uh, the circles by tracing all the available lines within each remaining circle with a different color. That way it will look like it has red liquid in it. Now we'll just repeat this until we get the bottle the desired height. Now it's time to edit out the braces from the part of the bottle that is pretending to be empty. And now for the finishing touch. Let's give it a bottle cap.
and we are done. There are other ways to make cylinders, but uh, that is subject for the next video. So subscribe if you want to know and stay tuned.